and blocks distillation column rat frag. Now, why do I select rat frag? Because this is the most common one, the more rigorous distillation column. Column one. Distill one, let's call it. So this is the feed. And this is very important, guys. If you're using a total condenser, meaning that you are condensing everything, you gotta use this one. If you're using a partial condenser, you gotta use this one. So this is the distillate for bottoms. Bottoms one. And let's fully define this. This is in equilibrium. Rate based is another thing. Right now, let's stick to equilibrium. Number of stages, 15. Condensers is a total condenser. No, wait for it. It's partial condenser. And I love it because I made this error in purpose. So it doesn't make sense that you're saying that you want to add a total condenser when in the simulation we added a partial condenser. So what's going on here is essentially Aspen Plus telling you if you are correct or if you want to override or if you want to cancel this. So this is a cool double check on Aspen behalf. So no, I don't want to override it. I want to use a partial vapor. Kettle reboiler actually right now doesn't uh, has that much of an impact. Valid phases, vapor and liquid, convergence, select valid. And we have several other spe specifications that we could add here. So for instance, we know the reflux ratio is five. So let's set up that already. But the second one will be very important. And in this specific case, we're talking about the distillate rate has a 20% recovery. So you could have stated that bottoms rate have 80% recovery of the reflux rate, boil up rate, distillate to feed if you want to compare between the same column. But right now, let's fully specify that this needs to be 20 kilomol per hour because we know that we need to, uh, to get 20%. Now, this is also important to consider that if you were to change the inlet of the feed, to 1000 you will need to change this manually to 200 because that will be the 20 percent that's how the problem was specified now as you can see here the blocks the still one is still not ready we have one tab we got to full or fill up at least two more tabs the feed stream where are we feeding we are feeding number eight so that will be eight and it's very important especially when you're using absorption distillation to ensure where you feed it. So of course you always feed up above the stage. So you have your tray and you're going to feed above the tray. And let's go to pressure. So we only know that the pressure of the reboiler is 1.95. So let's add that. Rest of the column, condenser, so that's funny, we don't have a specific date there on this. So we can add this directly. Let's go back to this column and we have that. Oh, actually this is the operating pressure. Okay, that's a nice one. This is not reboiler, this is operating pressure. So that's kind of fun that they will not allow you to set up a pressure for the reboiler, only for the condenser. And if that is the case, let's select this part right here. Now, if you know the second stage, uh, you have a measurement device or so, you can do it. But right now, I don't know it, so I'm going to leave this alone. And you can see, you can further add data to the condenser and reboiler if required. I am not going to do it, but you can. And whenever you fully define this, I will definitely recommend you to run for this part right here okay convergence no warnings no errors were issued perfect and you can even check right now results but right now we're not do it we're not going to do it 